Hey guys, it's Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And for today, we're going to look at how to get rid of the AVG notification bar as seen here on Android device. And this bar is generated by the AVG app under some conditions. Now, in case you're getting the bar and you want to get rid of it, here's what you do. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is find the AVG app. And you're going to find it as seen here. And once you find it, let's go ahead and launch. Okay, I'm in this menu here. And you should go from the home page. Let me show you how I got to this menu. So the first thing I do is I stop on the menu in the upper left. Once you do that, scroll down and look for settings. Once you find settings, just go ahead and select the settings option as seen here. So once you're in settings, go into protection. Oops, made another mistake, sorry. Let's go back. So just go straight into um, protection as seen here. So let's click on it. Once you're in protection, guys, to get rid of the bar, just go ahead and turn off the app install shield and of course once you do that the bar should be gone although there's going to be a new alert in place that says avg antivirus warning issue detected but of course um, that's just a side effect all right so basically that's the first thing you can try otherwise guys if you want to get rid of it totally what you can actually do is uninstall the app i recommend and install a fresh so the idea is that we're trying to actually get the app to uh, refresh itself and go back to it, its default setting normally when you get this issue it's because um, of some settings that you have turned on or for some reason they turn on and this bar appears um, I was unable to find the direct setting to turn off the bar but that's the only way I found to actually get rid of it as shown here in this video otherwise I guess you could go into settings in case uninstalling and reinstalling did not work and once you go into settings Go to apps, find AVG, go to storage and just clear the cache and clear the data. And of course, what we're attempting to do, guys, is to reset things back to their default. Especially the uninstall should work if this did not work for you. But the first step, as I showed, by going into the settings and turning off that feature should actually work. All right, guys, so just go ahead in the comments and leave your feedback. This is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.